Back now with Paula Miller from VDOT live on the phone. Paula, let's get right to it. How are things looking right now on the roads? Tom, um, conditions where you're getting word of some icy patches and spots, especially on the ramps. So VDOT crews are treating those areas. We're monitoring um, all the roadways very carefully because we are concerned about those falling temperatures, which could result in low overnight, record low overnight temperatures. So we're close eye on that. And then warning drivers that for the morning commute, if they have to be out there, they really need to build in some extra travel time. So that goes to my next question. If I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm walking out the door, getting ready to go to work, what do I expect when I go on the road? Well, I, I think that, um, of course, you know, depends what depends on what happens overnight. But we, you can expect to um, probably be traveling a little bit slower than normal, as you should in these type of conditions, and um, really be on the lookout for snow uh, removal equipment for vehicles that are out there treating the roads. So we want you to just be mindful of um, our equipment that's out there. And um, for the most part, really be mindful of those ramps, the bridges, right. the overpasses, and the shoulders that could develop those icy patches. I want to jump and in for a moment here, Paula, because we have a live picture of an accident tonight with a motor grader from VDOT on 264 West and Bowers Hill. What's the latest on that? Do you have anything for us on that accident? Um, that was a motor grader. That's a very large, slow-moving piece of equipment that was being operated by a VDOT contractor. We had contracted them with them to remove some of that deep compacted snow that fell right. overnight. And they had been working in the Powers, Bowers Hill region there when the accident apparently occurred. 